Hey everyone, Zane here, and today we're going to compare between Obsidian versus any type. Both offer offline first, privacy focused note taking, but which one is the right fit for you? Let's break it all down features, pricing, usability, and more. But first, let's introduce our contenders. Obsidian is a markdown-based note-taking app with powerful linking and customization features. It's loved by researchers, writers, and power users for its graph-based visualization and extensive plugin system. On the other hand, AnyType is an ambitious all-in-one knowledge management tool. It's not just for notes, it's also a second brain, supporting tasks, databases, and even a local-first Notion-style block system. Features and functionality. Obsidian Strength, markdown based with full offline support, powerful graph view for linking ideas, huge community plugins and themes, local storage with cloud sync as an add-on. Any type strength, notion like blocks and databases, native cross-platform, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, and Android. End-to-end -end encryption by default, open source and local first data storage. If you prefer plain text markdown and extreme customization, Obsidian is a great choice. But if you want a visual block-based workspace with built-in databases, any type is more powerful. User experience and interface. Obsidian offers a minimal, distraction-free writing experience, but you can fully customize it with themes and plugins. Any type has a modern blog-based interface that feels similar to Notion, but works offline with complete data control, sync, and privacy. Both apps prioritize privacy and offline first usage, but how do they handle syncing? Obsidian, local storage by default, Syncing requires Obsidian Sync, which is paid, or even, in some cases, you will need third-party solutions. Any type, local first, with built-in encrypted sync, meaning your data stays private. If you need automatic encrypted syncing without extra costs, any type has the edge. But if you want full control over your files and external cloud storage, Obsidian is better. Customization and plugins. Obsidian is highly customizable with thousands of community-made plugins and themes. You can add Kanban boards, calendar integrations, and more. Any type is newer and less extensible, but offers built-in tools like task management, templates, and a future API. Obsidian wins on customization, while any type keeps things simple and polished. Pricing and accessibility. Obsidian, free for personal use. And if you need Obsidian Sync, which is optional, it will cost you $8 per month. And for commercial use, you can pay only one time for $50. Any type is free during beta, so pricing is unknown for the future. But the good thing is that local storage and sync included. Obsidian is free unless you need cloud sync. Any type is currently free, but we don't know the final pricing yet. Collaboration and sharing. Collaboration is where these two apps differ significantly. Obsidian, primarily a solo tool. There is no built-in collaboration unless you use external tools tools like GitHub or third-party plugins. Any type, while still in beta, it has multi-user workspaces and development, making it a better long-term option for team collaboration. If you need real-time collaboration, Obsidian isn't ideal. Any type is still improving in this area, but it has more potential. Mobile experience. Both Obsidian and Any type offer mobile apps, but their experience differs. Obsidian Mobile, feature-rich, but requires manual sync setup. I Cloud, Get, or Obsidian Sync. Any type mobile, still evolving, but includes native syncing across devices. For a seamless mobile experience, any type is better, but for power users who need plugins and markdown, Obsidian still wins. Conclusion. Now, after all this data, which one should you go for? I'll tell you exactly. Choose Obsidian if you want deep linking and markdown flexibility, if you prefer plugins and customization, and if you do not mind managing your own cloud sync. However, you you can choose any type if you prefer a Notion style, blog based experience, and if you need built in encrypted sync for free. And finally, if you want an all in one knowledge hub, choose any time with no hesitation. So, tell me down below in the comments which option will you go for and why. Please share me your opinion. And that's all for this video. If you find it helpful, please don't forget to support us with like, subscribe to the channel, leave us a good comment, and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching, and see you in a new video.